What's up guys, Cody here, back with more Ethereal content for an in-depth overview of their Spear item. Just as a reminder, I have videos for all the items up on my channel, and you can check those down in the link below. I have a playlist with all the videos. Okay, so, Spears. The Spears are a little interesting. They are melee-oriented attack speed items. Um, the weirdest part about them, though, in my opinion, the weirdest part is this magic spear gives 30% attack speed and 10 physical power, but Spear of the Revenants and Delta's Rupture give 15, 15. Well, this one gives 20, 10, but this one gives 15. Why? I, I just I don't understand why we why we have a lateral change and like we're just reallocating stats. This doesn't make sense to me. I don't get that part. Anyways, uh, let's look at this. So, Delta's Rupture. Every 30 seconds, your next melee basic attack will strike the target four times for a total of 125 to 150% its basic attack damage. And applying on-hit affects every other basic attack. Landing additional basic attacks on the enemy reduces its cooldown by one. I don't understand this item. I, I don't understand the point of the item. So, uh, your next melee basic attack will strike the target four times for a total of 125 to 150%. You're just, so, all this is really saying is you're doing 25 to 50% more damage. However, you're striking four times. However... <laughs> Of those four times, only two of the times you're you're applying on hit effects. <coughs> like, why not just make it so that my next my next basic attack applies twice? I, I I feel like that'd be a lot easier. Next basic, I attack twice on my next basic attack, dealing twenty five to hundred to fifty percent extra damage. Like, I feel like that would just be way easier. Now, the only reason why this would matter would be actually the only the only reason this matters and this is actually really important now that i think about it is that there are a lot of effects in the game that reduce their cooldowns every time you basic attack which means this is four basic attacks reducing the cooldown four times so you could have Builds that use this item to reduce the cooldowns a lot. That that's very interesting. However, this only works with melees, so you have to have some melee fighter person. Um, so interesting, interesting. It, it it's interesting, but it's like no, it it's you you have to have an on hit build that also has items in it that get. Caught that get cooldown reduction from auto attacks. It's very, huh, very interesting. Okay, fear of the revenants. Shockwave. Every fourth melee hit on the on the enemy sends a shockwave uh, forward in front of you, dealing. Blah, blah, blah. Um. Obviously, this item synergizes with Delta's rupture. Um. Like these items synergize well together, but. I just the big thing is is like I I I feel like this has got to be a misprint on the values. There's no way you go from a there's no way you have a lateral change in values. There's, I, I I I get that it's supposed to be like a an on hit style stuff, but uh, um. The one thing to note here is that these items do like this item itself wants extra physical power. This item wants on hit effects. Um I don't know. Like if you can make a fighter, a melee fighter type of build work, then yeah, I can see these being pretty good. And if you have enough like synergy points with other items, I can see. That. 
Um, yeah, I think I think this is interesting. There just has to be somebody that can effectively utilize the build, though. So I'm gonna keep the eye out on. Um, I'm just the one thing is I'm very wary of items like this of uh these like fighters type of builds like this all in fighter fighter not like not like a kind of like bruisery fighter no like all in fighter i get attack speed i like master yi type of things because they generally don't perform well at higher elos because of the fact that they're very easily countable so yeah something that keeps like the eye on that Hey, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. Remember, I've got videos on all the other items up on my channel and in the playlist down below. And as a reminder, I stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash CW5136. play mostly League of Legends, but when Ethro comes out, if I'm allowed to stream it, you'll be able to stream a ton of it. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all later.